Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris has defended her policy shifts on key issues, insisting in the first interview of her U.S. presidential campaign that her values have not changed. The 59-year-old Democrat said she has toughened her position on, immigra on migration me, along the southern U.S. border with Mexico, and she no longer wants a ban on fracking, an energy production method that employs many people in swing state Pennsylvania. She said, my value around what we need to do to secure a border that has value has not changed. I spent two terms as the Attorney General of California prosecuting transnational criminal organizations, violations of American laws <coughs> pardon me, regarding the illegal passage of guns, drugs and human beings across our border. My values have not changed. In her joint scene and sit down with her running mate Tim Walls, Harris also discussed the possibility of adding a Republican to her potential cabinet, saying that she wanted a diversity of opinion. The first female, black and South Asian vice president in U.S. history brushed aside Trump's recent comments questioning her racial identity. She called it same old tired playbook. Kamala Harris gave the interview while on a campaign bus tour of Georgia, one of the seven battleground states that are expected to decide the November 5th election. Meanwhile, in a rally in Savannah, Kamala Harris attacked Donald Trump on the issue of abortion. She said former president does not trust women and insists that he will sign a national abortion ban. And if he wins, Donald Trump will go further. He will sign a national abortion ban. You best believe. Why don't they trust women? Well, we trust women. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. On the other hand, Donald Trump ramped up his campaign in battleground state of Michigan and Wisconsin. In Michigan rally, he said that if he won a second term, he will make IVF treatment free for families. I'm announcing today in a major statement that under the Trump administration, your government will pay for or your insurance company will be mandated to pay for all costs associated with IVF treatment, fertilization for women, IVF treatment. Because we want more babies, to put it very nicely. Meanwhile, in a Reuters Ipsos poll published on Thursday, Democrat Kamala Harris is leading Republican Donald Trump 45 percent to 41 percent. The poll shows the vice president sparking new enthusiasm among voters and shaking up the White House race. The new poll conducted in the eight days ending on Wednesday has a two percentage point margin of error. The poll shows Harris picking up support among women and Hispanics. She is leading Trump by 49 percent to 36 percent or 13 percentage points among both women voters and Hispanic voters. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report. Listen in. Former President Donald Trump said that he would protect access to IVF treatments if elected while campaigning in the Midwest. He also held a town hall in Wisconsin alongside former Representative Tulsi Gabbard. Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate Tim Walls held their first sit-down interview since the start of their campaign where Harris said that uh, she's thinking of appointing a Republican to her cabinet if she's elected. Harris also held a rally in Savannah, Georgia, capping a two-day bus tour of southeastern Georgia. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.